And welcome back to our tutorial on Microsoft's uh, uh, SQL Server or Microsoft uh, assays as well as SQL Server. We are actually treating relational database management system and we are looking at the various concepts. So let's start from where we stopped from part three because this is part four. So we are able to export the data from Microsoft Assets database and we are able to export to SQL Server and we created this uh, database or the database was actually exported to Microsoft SQL Server and the name of the database is called uh, Relational DB. So we were able to create a query, as you can remember, we created a query in uh, Microsoft Assets, but now can we create a query in Microsoft uh, SQL Server? Now I want to explain something. Now I have this table and we have this query that joins the two tables together, okay? So that the department name here is derived from the, the department's table and the employee and the, and the other uh, uh, fields we are taking from the employee's table. And we are able to create this query and it was saved as query in uh, the Microsoft Assets database. So as you can see, this relation DB, so you have query. If you run it, we have exactly what we want. So how can we get something exactly like this in Microsoft SQL Server? To get an equivalent query in Microsoft SQL Server, we actually use Query Designer. Okay, so let's go and I explain to you that it's just as easy as you do it in Microsoft Assets, and that is why my advice to everyone learning database management system is to start with Microsoft Access Database and gradually move to Microsoft SQL Server. So now to create a query, come to the table. Um, you can just open one of the tables and it comes to something like this, okay? Or let, let, let's, let's just do it straightforward way. Just what, what you do is just right click and say new query. So it opens a blank window that does not have anything. So what you do is just come to query on the on the on the file in the on the on the menu bar and you see query, just click it. And, and say design query in editor that is what you do so again just like in Microsoft Assets you select the two tables add and just get rid of this so at least what you see now is similar to what you already know in Microsoft Assets just a little different so now you want to specify what you want to appear in your query, okay? So the first item that we want is the batch number, and the batch number comes from the the batch number comes from here from the employees table. So let's specify on that table you choose the table employees, and on that column you choose batch number. It is that easy so the next one you choose the first name and the last name so you choose the first one employees and the, the other one you choose the first name that will have the next let me drag this down a little so the next i have also employees and what i want is the last name and that is just fine so now if you look at the the SQL view, the SQL view is generating the uh, SQL script. The SQL script is automatically being generated. But it's a beautiful thing to be able to, to design your query using uh, a designer like this. With time, I'll explain to you that it is very, very important that you know how to write a query using the codes. But uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a must. It's not a compulsory that you should do that. 
So the next item should be the department name, right? Okay, department name derived from the department table and then we have department name and for the last one we have lo uh, location I think, uh, let me see, no, not location, we have position and that position comes from the employees table right there uh, position, okay so now we build our 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 a query and then just for a minute let me copy this thing to the script to the clipboard so i say okay and it beautifully creates that query for me okay if i execute the query i have the records i want but then i want an object to store in my database and what I can, I, the object I can create is a view because there is no way to store this query as a query uh, as an object in your database. So just right click on view and say new view, okay? New view, take this away and then remove this. It's as simple as copy your query that you've already created, copy it and paste it right in the view window just paste it of course you have this designer here and then it automatically generates everything so just save it as b w employees okay so i have a view now so each time I can easily open the view and I have the data I need. So this is equivalent of query, right? This view is equivalent of query in Microsoft Access. So this is how you create a view in Microsoft SQL Server. My name is Kain Samunoye and in the next video we are going to treat computed columns. Uh, in assays and also in SQL. How do we generate a particular field based on another field? How, how do we combine the first name and the last name to generate a full name? For instance, in Excel, you may have something like this. Equals this ampersand space ampersand okay no ampersand and you have this automatically this gives us the first name and the last name combined how do we achieve something like this in microsoft assets and also in microsoft sql server so we have a here using this formula how do we achieve a microsoft assets and then also in microsoft single server so please you can just uh, move on to the next video so that you can see how this is done meanwhile i would like to thank you very much for viewing if this is informative for you please give me give me a thumbs up leave your comment and uh, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so